I'm Bishop Dr. Suzanne Enti. I am the COO, the Chief Operating Officer and the Head of Legal for Action Chapel International. I'm also the School Director of Dominion Christian Academy, which is an American and British international school located at Spintex Road in Accra, Ghana. There was a chance meeting. Um, I had to go to Stambik Bank in Airport City for a transaction and I was in the waiting area and Dr. Mensah was sitting to my left and we just greeted each other and we started talking about something that was topical. Um, he explained that he had come over from America and he was now in Ghana and he was pursuing his um, the things that he was interested in. And so we exchanged numbers, and that was the beginning of um, getting to know him. And this was barely two years ago. It was during the Christmas period. And following that, um, we exchanged Christmas greetings. And um, I think I wanted to find out who he was. So I looked him up on the internet and I was pleasantly surprised. You know, I discovered that he was actually a national treasure. He was actually a national treasure. You know, everyone needs to read his book, The Right Stuff Comes in Black too. Outside of Ghana, anyone with our color or darker is referred to as black and there are so many negative connotations projected against the African and the, in quote, black person. I mean, I have a white mother and she hates being called white because she says she is not actually white. She is, um, she says a piece of A4 white sheet is white. So she's not white. So this black connotation has a negative um, impact outside. But when you meet somebody like Dr. Mensah, you realize that the world is our oyster and there is so much we can do as Africans. We have the same skill sets, we have giftings and talents and abilities. And I think Dr. Mensah is a prophet for Africa, sounding the trumpet that Africans are as good as any other race. And I think his achievements are testimony and a testament to that fact. Um, I'll just read you the foreword that was written to his book, The Right Stuff Comes in Black Two. And this was written by Charles E. Henry, the Vice President of Verison Corporation. He says, I was very fortunate to have met the incredible Dr. Mensah, a genius, as Ebony Magazine describes him, because as a telecommunication executive at Verizon Wireless Corporation, a giant in the telecommunication and cloud computing space, I know firsthand what fiber optics has meant to our industry and anyone who uses the smartphone or mobile devices to access our modern day internet. Fiber optics impact on the explosive growth of the inter internet globally is incalculable. Fiber optics, one of the key innovations in this century, has brought us companies in the social media space like Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and helped launch search engines like Google Inc., Yahoo, and Amazon, changed the way news is reported, and made our lives easier since we can now shop online at home and gain access to the library with a few keystrokes on our computer. The enormous bandwidth required for a faster and robust transmission of data, voice, videos, photos, and television signals on the internet is due to fiber optics media. His work on smart munitions, including the fiber optic guided missile <laughs> and nanotechnology products span many engineering disciplines. 
Dr. Mensah travels around the globe to speak on innovation and American competitiveness. He is definitely an innovator in the same category as Bill Gates of Microsoft, Elon Musk of SpaceX, Vince Cerf of Google, Steve Jobs of Apple, and Thomas Edison, as well as a strong motivational speaker. The right stuff, the right stuff, and this, the right stuff, is used to describe people like Nelson Mandela, uh, Malcolm X. The right stuff, therefore, aptly describes Dr. Thomas Mensah one of the four key inventors and innovators in the fiber optics revolution. And as I said, this was written by Charles E. Henry, the vice president, Verison Corporation. You know, as people age, as people grow old, sometimes their inventions, their achievements are 40 years back, 30 years back. And the younger generation, everybody is on social media. Everyone uses Facebook. Everybody's on Instagram, um, Twitter, Snapchat, etc. But they don't realize how we got here. And people like Dr. Mensah are historical figures, one of the four people who invented or changed the, the fiber optics um, transmission that enables us to get photos on our phones, on our, you know, on our internet, etc. So as to ha whether I have an influence in his life, um, I believe I do because I appreciate what he has done, even though it was in the 1970s, 1980s, 1990s. It is something that has become the foundation of technology and what we're doing globally today. So it cannot be ignored. And the fact that he is Ghanaian makes it even more exciting that he grew up in one of our own secondary schools, Adisado College, that he went to one of our own universities, KNUST, you know, that he comes from a normal Ghanaian family. Um, that is exciting. On this special day, I just want to congratulate him for his um, determination, his commitment to research, um, the accomplishments of his life, the fact that he is a very social person, if you've met him. He is prophetic. I think for Ghanaians, he is before his time. He is a voice, you know, he's advocating right now for the bullet train that would make a trip to Kumasi one hour long by train. That would make it so easy to get to the north of Ghana, maybe two hours. So he's advocating not only in Ghana, but over Africa for the bullet train because it will transform the landscape of our, uh, of our industrialization. It will help with the African free trade um, agreement, relationships between nations, etc. So he is out there talking about commercialized laser um, drones, taking medi medicines to the hinterland. Um, he brought, he's also an advisory board member of the Dominion Christian Academy that I'm the director of, fortunately. And he has brought to our school a commercialized drone, which can carry up to 50 kilos of medicines, pesticides, agricultural produce, etc. And he's also recently, just a couple of days ago, brought a talking, walking robot cello to come and visit the students, just so that they can see that artificial intelligence is something that is moving forward. We're in the fourth industrial revolution. And prior to COVID, I was so concerned that Africa would get left behind. But thank God for COVID. I mean, not the, the negative aspects, you know, we've lost a lot of people. But the positive aspects, because I was in education, we had to put all our students online. And because of that, we have literally fast-tracked into the fourth industrial revolution. And I think we need to maintain that. And with people like Dr. Mensah 
around Dr. Thomas Mensa, pointing us in the right direction. I think we have good, um, a good resource person for the nation and not just for the nation, for the continent. Somebody who has been there, he knows the way. He has been the way, he has gone the way, and he's showing us the way. My issue is that people should listen to him so that we can also move forward and advance with technology and digital transmission and media, etc. So he should not be ignored. He is a national treasure, and we should treasure him not only in Ghana, but on the African continent. Congratulations, Dr. Mensah.